Good day, students, and welcome to today's Doseri lesson by me, Mr. Cogswell. Today's lesson will be on Engage New York Mathematics, and we're going to focus on a deeper understanding of addition. Remember, addition is a very important skill in mathematics. So, let's go ahead and move to today's learning targets. Our learning targets is what we will go home and tell our mom and dad what we learned. So, today's learning target is, I can understand that adding two parts equals a whole or a total. So, let's go ahead and review what we wrote. Again, we want to make sure that we understand that when we add, when we're adding and we add parts, they're going to make a whole or a total. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Let's take a look at thinking about what is addition. Addition is when we have two or more groups and we're joining them together to make a total. For example, let's talk about my family. In my family, we have me, Mr. Cogswell, my wife, Miss Cogswell. So in my family, we have two adults. But that's not our whole family. That's just a part of our family. That's not our total family. We also have some children. Our daughter, his name is Sonny, in second grade. Our son is Russell the Muscle. And then we also have Tuck Tuck. And he's the baby of our family. So we have two adults and three children for our whole family. Now let's take a look at what this means as far as a number bond goes. We're going to turn my family into a number bond. So remember... This is a number bond, and in the number bond, we have our parts, and you can see the parts at the bottom, and the total on the top. And the two parts are added together to make a total. So let's go ahead and take a look. Remember, in my family, how many adults do we have? We have two adults. So part of my family is made up of two adults, Mr. and Mrs. Cogswell. We have another part of my family, which is the three children. So as you can see here, the other part of my family is made up of three children. Our whole family, or the total in our family, is five people. Here in the total, you can see the two adults and the three children. So we took the two parts and we made the total. One part was two adults, another part was three children, and that makes the total of five family members. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this as it would be in a number sentence. Remember, we have our number bond, which is made up of two parts, which make a whole or a total. We have two adults, and we have three children, which makes a total of five family members. So that's our number bond, but we're going to take this into a number sentence. So let's go ahead and take a look at our number sentence. Well, first we have the red, which is the total. We're going to put our equal sign first this time, and then it's made up of the two parts, so the red is the total, T for total, and the blue is the two parts. So remember, the parts we have, two adults, we have three children, and we're going to add them together, the two parts, to make a total of five. Notice that the total is first, then the equal sign, and then the two parts in this number sentence. However, we can do a number sentence a different way by putting... Normally, like we see it, the two parts first, which gives us a total. So again, remember, we have two adults, and we have three children, so two parts, and that's going to give us a whole or a total of five. Notice both the totals are the same, even though they're on different sides, and both the parts are the same. These are two different ways that we can write a number sentence. Great job. So, let's go ahead and review what we learned today. Remember our learning targets. This is what we should have been able to do and what we reviewed during this lesson. Our learning targets were, I can understand that adding two parts equals a whole. So, what we did is we looked at my family, the two, the two adults and the three children, and we put them in a number bond, which gave us the whole of five, and then we wrote two number sentences. Remember, sometimes the total can come first, and sometimes the total can come last. Thanks for listening, and remember, adding is an important skill in life.